Hi, I'm Debbie Brooks, the co-founder of the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. We launched in 2000 with the goal of delivering better Parkinson's drugs to patients and ultimately finding a cure. So we've had a few years to learn just how complex drug development is. Sadly, to bring one new central nervous system drug to market takes 15 to 30 years and well over $1 billion. So what does it take to get an aha moment to the drugstore shelf? Just explaining drug development is a challenge, so I often use the alphabet as an analogy to help make sense of these complicated concepts. The first part of the alphabet, say letters A to F, represents basic research. This is where a scientist, typically an academic, looks at some molecular process in our cells and asks, what's happening here? Why is it important? As taxpayers, we fund over $30 billion a year at this stage through the National Institutes of Health. This discovery science is the backbone of drug development worldwide, but aha moments alone are not enough to make a difference in human health. The next chunk of the alphabet, say letters G to P, represents translational research. Discoveries worked on for years in basic science are now examined in the context of a particular disease. This work helps us identify ideas that may actually get us closer to new medicine and enable the leap of faith from testing in a petri dish to testing in a human being. The bad news is that most ideas will fail at this stage. It's the valley of death where breakthroughs go to die. The very few therapies that do make it through the valley of death still have to navigate Q to Z, clinical research, where potential new drugs enter human testing. Clinical research is a lengthy, multi-phase process, and each phase requires years and new rounds of funding. At this stage, it's necessary to design trials, recruit volunteers, collect data from patients, analyze the findings, and finally, prep for approval from regulators before a drug can become part of a physician's arsenal. Across all diseases, the total yearly expenditure here is about $70 billion, mostly in private investment from drug companies. But even after getting as far as Q to Z, only one in 12 of those treatment ideas are ultimately proven safe and beneficial to patients. Between government and industry capital across that whole alphabet, we're up to $100 billion a year spent on drug discovery and development, and we have shockingly little to show for it. The Fox Foundation's total research investment to date measures in the hundreds of millions. That may sound like just a drop in the bucket given billions are required. But we believe getting results for patients isn't merely about spending more money, it's about spending the money smarter. That's why 90% of our funding goes to moving ideas into that middle part of the alphabet and beyond through the valley of death to the clinic. Our strategic investments identify and chaperone the ideas that are most likely to have an impact on human health. We provide researchers with the financial and intellectual resources they need so that they can get these results as quickly as possible. Michael J. Fox has a great way of thinking about our foundation's role when he talks about a department of cures. We'd all like to imagine an office where a high-level official sits at the center of all this work with a smart and comprehensive view of the entire field orchestrating the efforts of all the players working on these complex problems. And then we'd like to have someone whose job it would be just to keep the whole business moving in an efficient way to assure that the best ideas are on a streamlined path towards the patients who need them. Sadly, there is no department like that. But this is the role our foundation is endeavoring to play in Parkinson's disease research. We've built a team of PhD neuroscientists paired with business trained project leaders Sitting at the global nexus of Parkinson's research, this team comes to work every day with one urgent goal, to prioritize research that can transform patients' lives. And in our short history, we have built the credibility and expertise to make real inroads. We understand not only science, but the business of science. And we are willing to take higher risks that can tilt the odds in favor of success. And we are seeing real progress. Today, more ideas are flowing into translation, and many of them are progressing from there to that vital Q to Z phase. Our work goes far beyond check writing. We really assess what is needed to get from A to Z, and then we bring it. I wouldn't want to leave you with the impression that any of this is easy. We must be sober about the work that needs to be done, but it'll be a great day when we find that last breakthrough. Patients have the treatments they need, and we can close our doors. Until then, we will keep at it and do whatever it takes. 
We're problem solvers and we're optimistic. 